Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome in. So glad you could join me. Thank you so much, Ben, for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. It's good to see everybody. Glad I could piggyback on Ben's stream tonight. You know, Ben actually showed up a little bit late for yours. Um, how was Wizardry? Um, I, I got there right as you were wrapping it up. So uh, so how'd it go? How was it? Welcome in, everybody. By the way, I'm Jess, Decap Jedi. Y'all know me. Um, I'm here tonight with New Tales from the Borderlands, a game I'm very excited to try out finally. Uh, but yeah, how was... It's just a meat thrasher, very hard. Hey, see, I'm not in it for any kind of hard game. That doesn't sound like my jam. That's why I'm looking for uh, this nice, smooth, easy sort of uh, Telltale-esque experience. Of course, this game, New Tales from the Borderlands, was not developed by Telltale. This was uh, Gearbox's sequel to Telltale's original Tales of the Borderlands, a game that I really love. Um, maybe... I don't know if I'd call it my favorite Telltale game now that I've played a few more Telltale games. But I really like the original Tales from the Borderland. But I also understand uh, not a lot of people uh, loved this sequel that came out last year. So I'm really curious to check it out. I know absolutely nothing about it other than uh, I like Borderlands and I like these sorts of episodic narrative adventure type games. Boy, episodic games just go so well with streaming too. So uh, I'm happy to joke they me those Telltale jerks. Ah! They, they had all the sauce. They knew they just had to give you occasional decisions and then tell you whether or not somebody will remember it. And boom, you just tell, tell it right up. But <laughs> that's it. that's how it goes. That's right. Star Trek showed us that anyone can do a Telltale game. It's just like literally, yeah, every five minutes or so, you just offer a do this or that selection. And then, you know, you uh, let the player pick either one. And then you just doesn't matter, really. You get like one different line of dialogue and the game stays exactly the same. I probably shouldn't dunk on this so much before I played it, though. This could be a secret hidden gem for all we know, uh, despite middling reviews and a front page of steam that looks like it is bleeding profusely due to all the thumbs down ratings. So here we go. All right. The main menu. This is where I like to usually start games. Uh, this is, uh, this is just how I like to play starting from the main menu. Uh, let's unmute. All right. And as always, let me know uh, if my audio seems uh, seems way out of whack. I can't tell. Let's see. What are my audio settings? Whoa. See, I'm an 80% kind of man. Really in all aspects of my life, but especially when it comes to master volume. And then I like to crank down music and effects just a little bit more, but keep that dialogue volume at 100. Uh, when I'm given this level of granularity, this is my pro strat. And we'll see if this is how it goes. I tried RJ Star, but the main menu now we're here. All right, let's uh, let's see what this game's about. This is that chat average game. These are these are my. I, I'm gonna write a game fact about it later. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have a nice ASCII header and everything. All right, new tales from the Borderlands. Let's go to Pandora. Maybe I don't even know where this game's set. Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters? I do. Bandits, corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malawan yep. Corporation. I remember that, probably. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He was our character in the first he's game. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. 
And into this pressure cooker steps Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward uh, do-gooder type. A do-gooder type. Atlas, been tinkering with a big award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. Okay. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfolk's favorite Frogger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. This is lots of lore, but you know what they say, uh, tell, don't tell. You're free now. Go. Go, be free. Run. Oh no. Run. Brogurt. Also, morning. the Brogurt is cursed. <laughs> I mean, good morning. <laughs> Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? I like that character. I want to learn more about her. Cool gum broth. By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear. Wow. I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite Siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Wow. Pong. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely how people talk, absolutely. Um, I was saying, I got his cool lab coat. To forever altering the nature of conflict vis a vis offering a non lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. As a PhD, I respect that. Imagine a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I phased away. And also, where they go. And also, what happens to them? Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. This is exactly oh, what my lecture is like. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? Uh oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Always seems so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, two weeks. Let's go wow. at least committal. It is. Or it will be. Surely two weeks is enough time for a huge breakthrough, right? Probably, right? Sure. Grayson, you ask if the Borderlands games have a lot of lore. They have a ton of lore for a for a looter shooter. They are so lore heavy. Um, like I've played literally every Borderlands game and I have trouble keeping track of the lore at this point. I mean, again, not like lore in the sense you'd expect out of something like Zelda, but for a game that feels very shallow on the surface. They have bothered to create a whole lot of corporate intrigue lore. And what was I thinking? All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with like your intuition or with your tech goggles. I would like to think both. Ooh, tech goggles. Maybe make, make a tutorial with the tech goggles though. There's a button on the side. You okay, goggles? Let's try a diagnostic. Hey, goggles. Okay, that didn't activate my phone. I was curious. Hold A to scan object. The device, name to be determined. Non lethal mediation. The hope equals preserved life. Okay. 
So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, <laughs> where did I put that iridium ore? I feel like I'm at a uh, TJ Maxx Home Goods with all of this lamp shading that's happening in the game already. Now, if it were me, I'd have it on my desk. Line of sight at all times. But that's just me. It's a Jabber translator. I don't know why I ever thought a Jabberman translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time. Hmm. Jabbers don't get irony, good huh. enough. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. Whoa, 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 Tom. In the UK, it's TK Max. How is this possible? I assume this is named after an actual person. Hmm. On my desk, eh, is the word. Power source. Do, 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 do. Power source. Oh, 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 oh. Power source. Would a clearer headed Anu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? <laughs> I remember you securing it a while ago. You said, I'll definitely remember where it is. I mean, we already have a, a TJ Lavin BMX legend here in uh, the US, but we still got TJ Maxx. And would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? I think it's one, two, three, four. Seems to be what all the clues say. Fell in their action for the first time. I got a sweet achievement <sighs> for that. Why does this lock always jam? Didn't we put in an IT ticket for this? Have you tried turning it off and on again? What? That's... No, that's impossible. Just try the combination again, I guess. I wasn't ready for a quick time button press. I also couldn't remember where B was on a Xbox controller. Okay. XB, XB. Xbox, Xbox. I want this game to be good. I like Borderlands. Ooh, pal o money. Better grab the money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? Okay, I've made up to twelve thousand dollars already. That's not bad. Okay, why don't you just tell me where the Oh, so really, it's just like Borderlands. I'm just gonna walk around and get get money, huh? Oh, there we go. Had to get in the right place for that. Boy, I gotta turn down this joystick sensitivity. It's wild. Let's see if that's a little better. Life's work and that's still pretty serious stuff for a game that doesn't require a lot of twitch reflexes, I don't think. <laughs> you there we go. Eccentric scientist. Please stick to your doctor. 
Ask your doctor about sensitive joysticks. Well, I can't f solve this first puzzle, so this could be it, gang. This could be where it all falls apart for me. Oh, wait. Is there anything down there? Oh, wait. Hold, hold. Oh. Same thing. Hmm. Bong, <laughs> do you happen to have the Iridium Ore in your pocket? What? No, of course not. <laughs> Why would I keep Iridium in my pocket? They call that pulling a Marie pocket Curry. just seems full. Kryptonite? <laughs> oh, don't get cheeky with me, boss. Not unless you mean it. What? No. <laughs> okay, Fong. Hmm. Seems really want me to interact with that. Check the toolbox. I swear this didn't give me a opportunity the to interact box, earlier. Maybe? Why can't, being absent why can't we just act, open it? Are signs of a genius, I think. I hope. It's a box full of tools. Your tools go in the box. It's the name box of tools. My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple Thank you, Gary. Elements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? If you can double up on a bless you, I sneeze, Kevin sneezes at the same time. That's like speed running a gazoontat. Got you. <laughs> Left the rare and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. Find the sweet spots, eh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay. <God. sighs> I love that hum. Slap? It's like it's singing. Like a siren song. Okay. It's the sound of a successful invention. One that finally gets us out of trouble with Reese Strongfork. One that changes the world. Just picture it, Fong. We are on the cusp of a world with less bloodshed. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter, of course. Like, like, don't like? you know? I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. <laughs> AKA Atlas's motto. Her moral compass, the almighty dollar. No cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Timmy? Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business. That's rule 34, or in fact, <laughs> rule of acquisition, right? For business than revolutions, are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow? Don't you think we should maybe, I don't know, not root for people who resort to violence and total upheaval as a means to an end? Upheaval is integral to progress, and violence begets violence, which, as I mentioned, is great for business. Right. Anyway. Are you here for something in particular? Did someone check and see if that really is rule number 34 of acquisition? I think it is. To inquire why our company's test subjects are so liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call Go Jabber Grabber Time. All right, 
Oh yeah, the other rule 34. May have got my rules messed up. Yes, we know. I apologize if my tone was misleadingly chipper instead of appropriately accusatory. Wait, what? If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the jabbers those other times. Don't they deserve to be free? Oh, I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas <laughs> policies. Well, now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh, oh. no. Wait, better not go empty handed? Sure, I should take a gun. Good luck. I should take this hair dryer I'm holding backwards. Oh. Hey, we just started the game, y'all. This looks like Cincinnati. It's awfully peaceful for a Borderlands planet. School's out already? Also you. That's also me. Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! Uh, I, I need a new name for them. Space calzones! I also need to stop doing that problematic accent. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, did you hear that lampshade? Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Get it? Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. <laughs> That's bones. I love how it forgets that I have a controller plugged in every time you I don't touch it for a few studies? seconds. <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Radon. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition truck. Hey, Quill. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Tacos are my everything. I love tacos. They're portable. They're festive. <laughs> of course I'm in. Yeah, I can tell you've given them some thought. I'll see you there. I would agree, Dr. Mario. So far, this does not feel... This part, like the corporate space station intrigue stuff felt like Borderlands. This Jeez. is not so much so I far. I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a hey, location Louis. that would not obstruct others. Stop. <laughs> Looming, Louis. You're always looming in places. I'm not looming. I'm simply standing. No, this, this, what you're doing right here, this is definitely looming. Notice my body posture, imposing presence. If you say so, I acquired the publication you requested. Well, I already like Louie. I'm here for Louie. You appear Oops. stunned. Did you doubt my ability to purchase this periodic? It's just not going to remember I have a controller, I guess. I'll play with mouse yeah, then. Sorry. This issue always makes me a little Xbox nervous. doesn't have an E button. Come on, come on. Come on. Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again. Actually, I misspoke. I'm just using an Xbox controller. It's PC. To warrant your acknowledgement on this list, I survived Malawan's invasion, and I'd like to think that my social influence has kept this city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. 
No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. My life's goal! His super successful Dirty 30 is a lifelong dream. It's irrefutable proof to the rest of the world that Octavia Wallace Star exists. That I'm a somebody. I know you're somebody. Yeah, but you're an assassination bot, which <laughs> makes it weird. Perhaps you are disappointed. But look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. It's probably not true. Not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty, anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be- You don't have a bounty no. like an influencer. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. <laughs> you have killed no one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public <laughs> appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got octavio Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's <laughs> kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Will I be... killing anyone? All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. Yeah. Have a strong lady. Assassin's Guild. Whatever it should know. Get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons. A few. I'm working on it. All right. Let's set up somebody to be assassinated. Oh, change of venue. Welcome to France. Now my controller's vibrating Ugh. mildly. Son of a skag kissing rat ass! Congratulations! For <laughs> Francine Miskowitz, it has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right. All right. Let's make it to 91. There we go, we did it. Ah. Such gameplay, very well. Let's get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude even though a Malawan space laser decimated your Frogert shop and subsequently reduced its Echo Net Yowl rating by 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. Froyo Queen. Your yellow rating is now negative three point five stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. As the sweet soon tattoo as the on the chest comes in. This place will look good as new. Okay. Warning. Do not think about your malfunctioning TDR appliances, for which you still owe the TDR Corporation 600,000 galactic credits. Do not 
nothing about the fact that these machines are also licensed from Dior and thus cannot be sold. Isn't it your job to keep me from losing my cool? Do not think on the fact that unless your next Kroger flavor is diamonds, the interest on your debt will keep pace with your revenue <laughs> and you shall be forever drowning in an ocean of capitalist indifference. Next Froger flavors diamonds is pretty good. You are not thinking about it. Son of a You don't have to do this. You have a choice. Think before you act. I don't know what I'm doing. I just was told to hold E. Uh. Oh no. Oh jeez. It has been zero days. I'm fine. It's not a backslide. Oh, it's a backslide. All the way back to pure animal rage. Everything is going to be just fine. Okay. My new slaughter matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. D nutty buddy, strong pork surprise, calcium, thanky dairy, enormous enjoyment. <clears throat> We're not open yet, and lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Tom, they'll probably be gameplay bad. eventually. Don't worry. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying: it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Mm -hmm. Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger, so long as I've got some caffeine in me. I'll have you know I'm in my prime. Physically, financially. Sexually. Hey, could you add some poison to this real quick? <laughs> <laughs> He's blushing. Didn't figure you for such a prude. Oh, shut up and drink your coffee, you old pervert. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outy. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. That's exactly right, Paul. If, if the gameplay is going to be minimal, you really got to have the story and dialogue clicking. Good morning. Yeah, Welcome to Friends Ooh. Frogerts. I'd what mess can with I get that. you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's cook served delicious. F for Froger. Props are kind of tough. <gasps> TBBY, the Borderlands best yogurt. Whoa, this looks incredible, friend. I know, babe. My three characters share a bank account. My three characters that don't seem to. Well, I guess Welcome two of the protagonists are siblings. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. You've got to hmm. Poor Reese. <laughs> he had his origins in such a better game. So far. Just 
Apologize for the jabbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. Mm. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Sure, why not? It's zero. Jimmy, tell Dr. Dar I'll see her now. Dr. Dar? Oh, I thought I was going to have to walk for a minute, but no. No, am I? Am I going to get to walk over there myself? No, that's what cut seeing me over there, isn't it? Nope. That feels like swinging around for me to walk myself. Nope. Oh, Never mind. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh, Mr. Strongfork. Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if... No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra rare zero vault lander's figurine. Again. That's tough. It's an investment. You know. You know. You know what? Forget it. N n never, never mind. Just, just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship again. You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. <laughs> we're all contained animals up here, Doctor Dar. Honestly, sir. Well, I was like, wind up this talking. This has been one big misunderstanding. Oh yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. <laughs> Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did. You cost me a fortune. Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you <laughs> wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my God, the Iridium ore. If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat. Shoot him. I wouldn't care, but... Now that is a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is the... no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my device. Okay. This device Gun. this device is going to achieve something no one ever has something no one has come close to wow. replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger now that's a pitch keep going keep going i'm serious this Built is heart the cold fusion robot have a panic attack presentation but it's always you know a little we're going to have a panic much. attack well the thing is I, 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 I made it, and um, maybe maybe works. Uh, <laughs> that option, better. Sometimes I don't even have that option. It just happens. Be better. I, I, I mean, it's. Uh, <sighs> Anu, stop. Look at me. This pitch is not very good. <laughs> come on, come on, keep it together. <laughs> Anu, this is very very bad. You're picking up on that, right? That this is going very, very badly. And then unless something starts to go very, very not badly, you're absolutely getting fired. And no one wants that. Hey, Reese. So, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time. No, I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present. But I haven't... It hasn't... It's in progress, and... It doesn't do anything, does it? Wow. No, no, it, it does. How Just very dare you. Let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good, or you're fired. <laughs> it's an energy manipulator designed to move any tangible subject through space-time. Move through? Transport, yes. It's a phase walk... Gun? It's a phase walk device. A phaser. 
A phaser. A totally non-lethal, utterly decisive. I don't think we can call it that. Conflict. Wait. Non-lethal? Yes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you from my disposal to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't <laughs> kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Show me. Show me or put it on the desk and leave my office. Okay. I uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. Her walking animation's pretty great. Uh -oh. I am waiting to be deeply, deeply impressed here. I mean, Florida. Oh my god. Oh my god! Right? That wasn't the blast, dummy! It was my. It was on display! I can't. Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh. Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very <laughs> impressive. Now. Wait, now. You know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De eliminate. Bring it back. There's no reverse switch, sir. It only does the one thing so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, <laughs> do not know. <laughs> so it's just gone? Gone forever. Like so many fabric scraps in the wind. Coasting through the ether. I'll never see that tie again. I could get you some logical things, sir. It won't be the same. Has Reese been recast Mr. since Tales Shark! from the Borderlands? CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you! <laughs> wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? Rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would. Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. Doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well... I like Clark Trump here. Actually. All right. Dr. Dar, let's try this again. On Timmy. Oh, no. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy? Timmy! If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically, the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun? Device. That's designed to be non-lethal? That thing is really doing some damage. Thank you? Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Uh -huh. Oh my god, why? Hey, Xanaman dude. Nick Cave is a name that sounds super familiar, but I'm not familiar uh, beyond just recognizing it. Welcome in. Why do you ask? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <sighs> <sighs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO oh, wow. of this corporation. Look at that hair. Well, Big well, swoop. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why? Why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar? You may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. What? <laughs> Sir! Susan! 
how they hang in. It's kind of weird having Reese be the heavy here. <laughs> Perky is ever Reese. Well, not very you? heavy. Eyes and limbs all accounted for. Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there uh, something you needed? Australian rock band. Okay. You know the drill. I can't kill my target until they say their full name out loud and I'm able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. So you must get my target to say their full name out loud. Why do you always need my help with this? People become uncomfortable around assassination bots and tend to refrain <laughs> from divulging any information out of fear they might be a target. People are not afraid of you. Thanks. This guy's no HK model. Hey, I will be intimidating. You're looking at a future member of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. My optics cannot corroborate that data. Ah. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? A man named Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. Hey, kick a dog. are adorable. This dude deserves to burn the ninth circle of hell. True. <laughs> Pardon me. I suppose that makes me feel slightly better about the job then. Records. Yeah, this setting does not feel like any kind of Borderlands setting we've really ever visited. Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? Yeah, just one. What's your favorite flower? Posies. Posies? Posies. A single posy is worthless, but they're <laughs> delightful in a bunch. Posies. Posies. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby, with death. All right, let's get this gag kicking piece of crap. Lodeo's cereal with uh, with their old friend Torg. Yeah? Who's there? Hello? If this is some kind of prank, I'm gonna come Pizza for Icy Wiener? Out. Yeah, I got a pizza here for apartment three. What? I didn't order any pizza. No offense, but are you by any chance drunk, sir? Well, yeah. How the hell is that relevant? Drunk folk order pizza, then forget about it. Happens all the time. Think of me as a present from your past self. <laughs> all right. I'll be down. Just give me a sec. Can we confirm his identity by the subtitles? If so, I think well, we've got this. I must this. admit, your methods are strange. It seems to have worked. Now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give it here, kid. <laughs> what gives? I come all the way down here and you don't even got it? You better not be messing with me, boy. I got a hell of a temper. He seems to. Sir, I'm so sorry. Someone just ran by and stole it right out of my hands. But can I confirm your full name so I can make sure you get a replacement? I was really looking forward to that unexpected pizza, and now I really want it. My name's Jamison Harwin, and I want to talk to your manager. Let the shooting commence. Oh, there you have it. You just got L0U13. Did I do it right? Nailed it. That's what you get, Sky Kicker. We just did a ding dang murder. Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavio. Ooh, cash money. Make it rain! What a goofus. I'm meeting the crew Paco's. You in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends Ratch. I use a lot of hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> a 
And that's how Papa Girardi makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. <laughs> now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larsny. I think he likes I'm Anu. Fine. I listen to my sister. Of the two of us, Anu is the... Smart, responsible one. Yeah. How did you know? Because you are certainly the impulsive, irresponsible one. And you have wonderful people skills. Oh, wow. What's her deal? Oh, Octavio. Hi. Louis? Let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle, a real thief and definitely not an idiot. It's Diamond Danielle. Real thief, not an idiot. Hmm. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me, robot? <laughs> no. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Pacos to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos? I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. Let's ambulate. I go for some froyo right now, though. What's Fran up to? How many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. Help you out in a sec. You want to help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank? What brings you around these parts? Hank. Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. That's Didn't a... see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Frogurt, Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! Wow. That's how it's gonna be? I tried to be patient. I can't believe that. I just remembered something that I saw. Uh, I can't do it from here. I think I have some outfit options, but I guess I have to go to the main menu to But you feed those. me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick. Mm. Oh, no. I'm through asking. You're going to give me what I want, or we're going to have a dozen flavors worth a problem. You keep threatening me, and you're not going to like where this conversation ends up. Mmm, sounds like somebody fell off the anger wagon. Yeah. Why does this guy look like young Alan well, Cumming? I think that makes me more or less worth screwing with. Pizza well, Tycoon does reflect reality, RJ. Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Sugar fiend. What that mofro? And I frankly, like that. What would be the difference? Huh? Whether it be an ice pick to the eye or slowly wasting away in debt to the TD or corporation, you are dead. Either way. Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe Pick you him into the somebody once upon a time, but that was the fuse box. Ten thousand Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing. Do it. Do no. it. No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You are nothing. Wow. Here goes nothing. Get the hell out of my shot. Broom. <laughs> oh, she's angry. It's been years since I fought a geriatric. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh wow. Come on. Ooh. Wasn't expecting a real fight scene here. This is like the Batman game. Any last words? Open wide. Order up. I said open wide. I tried to be nice, but this time you've gone too far. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. <laughs> Man, Hank will remember that. <laughs> Berry Blast Zone Sarsaparilla Shotgun Probiotic Punch Out Probiotics are both tough Just like your coping mechanism A little confused by the tone What do you mean? And which tone in particular? It has like several at the same time Right with you dear Back to Anu. What am I going to do now? Where am I going to go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. <laughs> What's Octavio going to say? The way we left things. Just zap yourself somewhere else. I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. Well, wow, lots of copies of the same book on that shelves. Oh, on those shelves. Hey, Anu, no big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Yikes Wait, the half. Does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a tedious invasion. A tedious With invasion. Dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So let's go. Could you repeat that? The sound of being fired is still ringing in my ears. It almost sounded like we're in the middle of an invasion. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of yes. course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, I guess TDR smelled blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now, and it is hostile. Like, very, very hostile. How do you know all this? <laughs> I kind of like Fog. Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> he felt weird. Oh, crap. He <laughs> felt weird. Oh, wasn't ready. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, what would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy. All right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. <laughs> it's kind of crazy you don't mess with. We get fired in space and someone give you a ride. Uh, yeah, straight out the airlock. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Reese Strongford. We are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career <laughs> change? We've got some killer benefits. Could I get a cocktail?
Fire during a hostile takeover. Yeesh! Bet you can kiss Yeesh. your severance package goodbye. Oh no. I've got it right here. Alright, let's do this. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. It smells like guilt and shame. Can you mommy bring a pack lunch? <laughs> Okay. Resistance is highly frowned upon. Oh, it's frowning! <laughs> oh. We're frowning. Was that my entire escape? Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um, he's. I mean, you both came out of he's that Malawan ordeal, okay, yeah? He's caring, but also careless, if that makes sense. I think I follow. He's young enough to think he can do anything, and old enough to get into a lot of serious trouble because of it. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. Yeah. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? <laughs> there isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can, one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Okay. Bong's tights are great. You'd find out if you could land a hit. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Oh no. Covering fire! Well, that's all it took. One button press to the right. How am I gonna get into a launch pod without being noticed? By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You'd do that for me? Sure. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene? That's something at which I excel. Fong, thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. Oh, uh, I don't like how it doesn't tell you that you E is for there, hugging. Right? You too, please. Like, it doesn't really give you a chance to role play this particularly if it's just going to like do things like earlier. It popped up the press E with Fran and it caused her to destroy her little anger management sponsor bot thing. And here, it's just like, press E, you don't know what's going to do. And it hugs there. It really takes away the options there. Normally, they're in a Telltale type game to really try to shape your character a little bit. It's just like, every time I see a button press pop up on screen, I'm probably just going to hit it. It's because you ever know what it might be. It's a weird design decision that I think is a step down from Telltale. And, you know, just coming off playing Life is Strange. I think that it doesn't really really do that quite as well he's for hugging the sue craft and all yes it's a panic time event i was like oh, e. i've been touch tapping since i was like eight years old and uh the minute it brings up one of the six keys it wants me to press i panic oh and hey take this for me i don't want these tdr bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander it'll be safer with you is this you yeah i Won it in a stupid contest or whatever. Ooh, a vault no lander. Deal. It's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But maybe you don't get this well, little doodad. Get out of here before I change my mind. Fong, thanks again. Right. So I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Oh, absolutely. It was Sierra Games that taught me a tap fast. Hey, Looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? 
<laughs> Jabbers. Go on you. Does it tell me to pick a direction? Nope, that's just environmental ladder. We'll get in here and push the do not touch button. I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. Hey, Red DeBose, good to see you. Happy Friday to you too. Welcome, man. Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. This looks a lot like the Space Quest 1 VGA escape pod. Sleek styling. Is this the music video for Die Right Now? doesn't feel the least bit like Borderlands. Muscle car? I like this atonal music. It sounds like sleigh bells by way of K pop. Or J pop. I'll call that J pop. We should get to drive a little as a treat. Like, it would have killed him to have me, like, dodging left and right on some stuff. Oh, we're at Paco's Tacos now. I find eating to be both barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. I'm gonna go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while. Ooh, Grayson, that's a great question. What is my stance on Borderlands in general? Am I Borderlands head? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've played Borderlands 1, 2, and 3. I played the pre-sequel. I played Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, you know, the first Tales from the Borderlands. Played them all, completed them. Uh, my wife and I used to play... I'm sorry, my wife and I used to play a lot of Borderlands together. When I first got my Xbox 360... We were looking for good couch co-op games, and uh, Borderlands 1 was one that we just absolutely fell in love with. I've told the story before, but we were actually playing our second playthrough of uh, Borderlands 2 together uh, when she went into labor with our daughter, and I had to pause the game and uh, you know go have like the best day of my life. But it was a pretty good day already because I was playing Borderlands 2. Um, I would say, like one thing I like about it, is that as a gun-driven game, the gunplay in Borderlands has always felt very good to me. Uh, like, whatever the flow of the shooting itself has always just felt very natural, which I don't always feel with every first-person shooter. It, it just feels very responsive. The guns all feel a little bit different, but kind of shoot like they feel like they should shoot based on the way they look in the game. It, it has really nice shooting mechanics that I appreciate. What's the name for Borderlands uh, fans? Uh, I w Vault Hunters, probably. Uh, Vault Admirers. I don't know, but I like Borderlands. Um, I wish this 
add a little bit more of that Borderlands vibe, but maybe it'll get there. Maybe we'll maybe we'll wrap back around to it. So far, Promethea here doesn't look like any setting that I've ever seen in the world of uh, Vaulties. There it is. Vault Boys. Vault Boys and Girls. That, that isn't taken, is it? Uh, Vault Boys and Girls. Hmm. And while we're paused here, this is a great time for a redemption. Uh, Ricky has requested artificial intelligence. This is, of course, where we go in. We ask the Midjourney AI bot to scrape together, literally, a piece of art based on a user-generated prompt. In this case, Ricky has asked Midjourney to generate Tales from the Borderland Breakfast Cereal 1990s TV ad. Let's see what Midjourney can do with this, and now we'll post the results live here on the stream. Let's see. What are other people generating while we wait? Um, here is someone generating an iPhone selfie of the biblical Abraham and Sarah with sheep in the background. That makes sense. Um, oh, gosh, what are other people doing? A female tiefling variant with bald head, wings, blue skin. Tiefling, do tieflings ever have wings? Oh, I recognize this right away. Uh, it's long shot from the X-Men in the style of Jim Lee. And I have to tell you, it's a pretty convincing version of uh, X-Men character Longshot in the style of, uh, of Jim Lee. But what we want is a Borderlands cereal. <laughs> a 1990s commercial. <laughs> For a Borderlands breakfast cereal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have the results. <laughs> I have the results for you, and I think you're going to enjoy what we've got. I think there are going to be a lot of things to talk about here. Um, I think we'll definitely have an opportunity to really really think critically about this one. So there we go. There are your four results for a Tales from the Borderlands <laughs> breakfast cereal commercial from the 1990s. The guy in the upper right is one of the favorite human beings I've ever seen mid journey generate for me um everything about him the outfit the hair just all of it is uh is so <laughs> perfect and is it just me or is the cereal in the upper right are they probably trying to spell out telltale flakes do you think they're trying to get telltale flakes is what that first cereal is supposed to be like, I see elements of those uh, of those words. Upper left looks like a Maniac Mansion sitcom. It kind of does. Could you imagine if they made a Maniac Mansion sitcom, though? Pass me the Bradles. I'm an undead Dr. Stephen Strange, as played by uh, Jason Sudeikis. Please pass me the Bradles. I'm sorry, actually, yeah, that is Jason Sudeikis as Dr. Strange. Uh, maybe wearing a modified version of Michael Jackson's jacket from the video for Beat It is what we've... Uh... <laughs> Bradles, Dr. Hanserks. Uh, bottom right of young Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, bottom left, is de it has some of that like weird science era Robert Downey Jr., right? Um, and, you know, the upper left one, you, you said gave some Maniac Mansion vibes. It also gives me a little bit of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids sort of vibes. Uh, I could see that being Rick Moranis, uh, like Pixar Rick, Mick, Mick Moranis. That's Rick Moranis, his evil twin, Mick Moranis. <laughs> That's some Rick Moranis vibes to it. No, this is all very good stuff, right? But the upper right, I just love. God, eat a pig in the blanket is alive. <laughs> It's very good. I really like the one upper right. It's too funny to me. Thank you, Ricky. Top left is that the same because the left child is aspect lobotomizing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's casually like. Eh. <laughs> Oh, that's very good. Yeah, top right is my favorite of the bunch. Although I'm grow Jason Sudeikis, Doctor Strange is slowly uh, like <laughs> Dark Ted Lasso down at the bottom. <laughs> right, is slowly growing on me. <laughs> the prize in the bottom left seems sus. Um, <laughs> is that a nut? I mean, yeah, quite possibly. Now that you mention it. 
<laughs> the guy in the bottom left, I mean, has those Robert Downey Jr. vibes, but also this dude could have absolutely stepped off of the cover of Dragon Magazine circa 1988 or so uh, <laughs> with a tiger beat face. That's exactly right, Sherlock. That's perfect. Okay, well, I think I think Mid Journey did gave us a lot to think about here, and uh, that's what matters. Us. I also love that, like in this world, cereal is served more often than not on a plate or the world's most shallow bowl. Uh, that's, that's how you eat tells the Borderlands cereal. <laughs> Thank you, Ricky. That was very good. Let's see here. Nobody mentioned milk. Why would you? Ooh, it's his pixel watch. Are you playing one of those insipid interactive narrative video games? Hi, Lance no. shaded it. This is my Echodex 4520, parabolic homing origin netwave emitter, also known as Bahoom. What does a Pahon do? Everything! It's so much better than the standard Equidex. I can communicate with my pals, take and scan images, play executable programs, watch the big game. What the is big the game. big game? Which everyone is on. Anyway, the best thing about this baby is I had a jailbroken. Forget about your standard Econet. I'm coasting through the shadows. You wouldn't download with these a watch. Market executables, I can gather all kinds of information about people without them noticing. Who is them? You know, corporations, man. Gatekeepers, suits, the squares. Those chumps can't box me in. I'm a disruptive entrepreneur. I use every competitive edge I can get. Sounds complicated. I prefer the simple life of learning someone's name and then murdering them. <laughs> if you were to have me socialize here, I suggest you do me a simple courtesy. Perform secret background bounty checks on all your friends, so I don't reflexively fire two ion slugs into their brains. Even Diamond Danielle might have aliases with bounties. It's still the same brain when I fire slugs into it. Get to know your friends. Oh, great. Hey, look, I get to walk around. We haven't... But had a chance to do that in a while. Talk to background check. Now the assassin comedian. Louis engineer schematics. I feel like I'm looking at him naked. Do not wow. feed robot. Ugh. That's gross. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell, man? Hey, careful, man. They haven't eaten yet, and you uh, have uh, an aroma. Musk. I have a musk. That's unfortunate. Mm, let's let's scan some more people. First, let's loot this. Get all this good, good money that we might need eventually. What's up, Ray Don? Hmm. Bombs away. Let's spot so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like you also bought a piano. That's cool. Uh, no, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bet Elton John would love to have one of those. Radon, my guy. What's that? What? No, don't insult me. I use the DX6500. The DX6500 makes this boom. The other bombs make this boom. You hear the difference? What's that? Very, very distinct difference. Mr. Turtlehead's deluxe latrines. Wow, good conversation. 
This city has really been through it. That, or Raiden was testing out a new explosive. Hard to say. Explosivo. Ooh, quick change. Yes, I want to change my mm, outfit. With the money from Louis, I could buy some sweet threads here. Got a dress for success. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is free. Kind of lame, but it's free. I mean, obviously. Where do we get money? We've been picking it up occasionally. Honestly, I don't like any of hers better. Okay, now we've bought skins. Sometimes we're opening up like little containers like these that are highlighted here. And it just gives us a little bit of money. Much like in Borderlands. Just every container on every planet is just full of cash. And bazillions of guns. And it just flies into our pockets. Through the magic of capitalism. Non interactive dude. What the? Can't even talk to Danielle. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. A sniper Wait. turned thief? What's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm. Didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew. <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming. Hot. I'll take it. How great is our outfit now, though? For real. Bounties and comedy at myCPU.org. <laughs> You've reached Danielle's Echo Mail. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer! Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? I think we can audio hear the 30 seconds. audio <laughs> feedback. That's good. Okay, well, we certainly did that interaction. Now I can no longer talk to her. I guess need to scan Paco. I assume that's Paco. It's Paco's Tacos. I don't know if we've actually seen him referred to as Paco. It could be a misdirect. A classic Paco gambit. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Mmm. Water. Life-giving nectar of the gods. Best Takaria in Promethea. Oh man, we have a new uh, Takaria that just opened around here, which getting a hold of anything resembling a proper uh, street style taco is very hard uh, in these parts. And uh, oh man, it was good. I'm feeling a little bit better. I've been sick all week. Not as sick as our pal Ben, who's been fighting off the COVID, but uh, I've been uh, pretty sweet, uh, sick all week and uh, maybe tacos are just the cure I need. Aw, Paco posted a photo of himself with his ratchets. They look cozy. Hey, it's Ben. I was Very just talking about cozy. you. Uh, 
I'm not sure this is 100% legal. And how you manifested Kofi Get over yourself. here, man. I need your help. Hamburgers. This is not better than the Telltale Games one. It is so far a definite step down, but we did get a new outfit. Look, this guy's now wearing a cool leopard print jacket. Hey, Paco, what's up? Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? What's up, Paco? Last taco, an acronym here. Juniper as in your prized microbreed ranch. Juniper as the light of my life, the beat of my heart, the joy of my days. So the ranch, right? Yes, man. She was here two minutes ago, then Raiden scared her off with his usual antics. Look, I cannot leave the car. Clap sap. Be a ball and find it for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free taco. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no. One Juniper coming up. She's a sweetie. Ooh, who brought the side mullet to the main stream? I'm not sure. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey, can I like you, fool? You sure I can't get you a taco? No. I mean, Kevin, you're absolutely not wrong. This game isn't great so far. I mean, it has flashes of interesting stuff, but it is better than Resurgence. I hate that that's now my new metric for a bad game because it's not the worst game in the world. It's just that it's a game I wanted to be good so badly. It really disappointed me when it just wasn't. Well, in all fairness, we haven't been doing a lot of blocking around up until this point. We were complaining about this earlier. There wasn't much walking around. Okay, where is Juniper? Juniper, Juniper, heir of golden blacks. Juniper. Juniper longs for what she lacks. Is she dreaming? Yes, I think so. Is she pretty? Yes, ever so. Oh no. I don't want to call anybody. Okay, close. Yeah, <laughs> got the folding chairs. Those are going to be impossible. Don't know how to open a door. Hey, guys and gals. Wouldn't happen to know where Juniper ran off to, would you? These things are the worst animals I've ever seen. Careful, man. You gotta be an alpha to earn their respect. And while well, you... Whatever! I'm an alpha. And this alpha is gonna go look for Juniper somewhere else. Yeah, Paul, that is exactly one of my biggest complaints about Resurgence. They probably won't make another one like this after it, so it's like, I wish it could have just been better. I feel like it's doomed Star Trek Adventure mm -hmm. Games for another 20 Sounds years. Like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. Well, I say all the time. What about a burrito? No. An enchilada? No. A tostada? No. This is me and my daughter at Taco Bell. Not even a chimichanga? No. You know, she went through a phase 
where she liked Taco Bell? This is a great question, Ben, first of all. Um, my daughter went through a phase where she really liked Taco Bell. Bell. And then girl? I think a YouTuber that she watched mentioned that she always gets sick after she goes to Taco Bell. And then my daughter decided that Taco Bell also always makes her sick. So she hasn't been willing to go to Taco Bell in like three years. So yeah, YouTuber, just because like all children, she just wants to be exactly like the YouTubers she admires. So uh, she's kind of like, we have all this programming that begins happening through cartoons and stuff at the youngest age, that cafeteria food is the most disgusting and probably dirty and unsafe food imaginable that by the time a kid actually reaches school, the thought of eating cafeteria food, it's like they've been hearing this stuff as slop and garbage and all this other sort of stuff. Thanks, Captain Underpants. And now they're expected to eat it. That's a solid maybe. But how am I going to get you out of there? If only she would listen to my stream for her, uh, for her behavior <laughs> modeling. How am I going to get you out of here? I mean, this feels like a puzzle for a minute. That's kind of fun. I don't know if I have inventory. Oh, wait, there's something uh, flashy over here. Give me that trash pile. What'd I get? Just some money? I was hoping I could lure it out with trash. That's a bummer. Here's a more different trash pile. Yeah, so far, when we've had control, it's just not entirely clear what's supposed to happen. I don't want that chainsaw. You can't just put a chainsaw out and not let somebody get it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go lure this thing out of the wall. Don't think I need to change outfits to do it. Yeah, birders is pretty good. I'll take birders. How about the melt body shop? Melt. I'll just use my typical method of walking up against things until a hot spot identifies itself. Still can only call her. Maybe I should call somebody else. Oh, I should ask Radon to blow up in that wall. Your birthday, but if it is, I made a thing for you. Yeah, let's get Radon to blow up in that wall. That's literally his whole deal, and he's standing beside it. I bet this is the puzzle solution, y'all. I think I've done it. I've ding dang done. Oh, I have to call him. You gotta be kidding me. That can't really be how this works. If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. I hate to disturb a business call, but Oh, he's on a call. Oh, please. This better be good. So we already talked to Radon once, but now we get his title oh, card. It is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this wretch is my problem, why? Well, it isn't, but you get to explode things and Paco will owe you one. Free Can't tacos. argue with that. Free tacos. Point to the problem. I would blow up almost anything for free tacos. Gross. Thanks, Radon. Hello? Hello? Right, as I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. <laughs> expect the unexpected. Here's your disgusting One creature. As promised. Cutest little rat that ever was. Yes, it's my juniper, mi amor. 
<clears throat> Thanks, Ock. Oh, you want to see? One taco, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't hey, eat tacos, tacos. Mm. Model, right? I mean, I probably that would if I'm being completely deal. honest. You got the jail broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. Ooh, executables. I love an executable. The first one is called Vault Lander Finder. That one helps you find Vault Landers. Hey, <laughs> you're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one organizes your finances. No, it hacks electronics. They just picked a crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Hmm. Dale. Taco.exe. Hack the radio. I'm gonna hack the planet. Uh oh. Enter pin. All right. Are they Wario wearing us? They could be. They're like, oh man, what am I doing? Wait, wait. What am I doing? I did it. I did it. I hacked it. Okay, sure. <laughs> this is one sweet executable. It never gave me any feedback to suggest that was working. That does not sound good. No, it definitely does not. Oh, uh. Come on, not another war. We're still picking up the pieces from the last one. Welcome to Franz Frogert's. Well, that was abrupt. Help? You. Oh my gosh. Do my eyes deceive me or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? Judges insurance claim sure. Oh, silly me. Wardrobe. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, it's like a I'm mega Malawi character. Oh no, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope. No. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is a Adorable. I'm doing a patriotic outfit now, though. You? You look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plastic surgery. Her outfit's sick. I feel like it's Her hair's bizarre, again, yes. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact Fran. Good to know you're just as much of a passive aggressive butt stain as always. Um, butt stain. Excuse me? Butt stain. Oh, I said you're as much of a massive, impressive big brain in hallways. Aw, thanks. <laughs> in hallways is pretty and, good. Oh my gosh. Guess what? Remember that girl you had a crush on back in school? We got married, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't think I've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair. That was nuts. I do not use that mode anymore. <laughs> so, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more girls being rebuffed. <laughs> oh no <laughs> yes please
Please show me the damage. Man hidden vault ladder figure. This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. It doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. I really like her shoulder pads. Sweet. That shouldn't be how money works. There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support handsome Jack. Borkin again. Uh, I like this. <laughs> you're one of those. Uh, I'm sorry, but this machine is Borkin again. I went through a lot of trouble to get one of these machines installed, but as you can see, the damage from the laser wrecked it. Seems busted. Oh, it works. Just gotta give it some of that Fran magic. Hmm. Oh, she can detect Vault Hunters, but the other guy needed like a hack to be able to do it. The jukebox is a little worse for wear too. Looks broken to me. Nah, just needs a little of the old Fran razzle dazzle. <laughs> Vault lander nearby. Gang, where's this vault lander? A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? I've never had to perform an insurance adjustment in a video game before, so that's kind of neat. It opens up some new gameplay opportunities I've never experienced before. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh. it's one of those silly little Vault Landers toys. How kitschy. So apparently there's a Vault Landers mini game built into this of some sort. I'm guessing it's like Hero Clicks or something. I don't know. Tamara. Tamara. Who do we Fall. have? Salvador. Flack. Salvador. Fall. Tamara. That's pretty exciting. The universe tabletop miniature game played one v one with collectible figures of characters in the Borderlands series. Combat is represented by quick time events. Sure. Yeah, that feels like the big one we need to talk See about. See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. Hmm? Well, any questions? As we Anything like to say around here? You want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. Oh, that's where the guy murdered earlier today. <laughs> nah. nah. Pardon? Can't go back there. Private property. Ah, uh, honey. You know that doesn't apply here, right? I get to see whatever I want. I don't know if that's true. To approve well, your that might claim. be true. And I want to see that back room. I said no, Reba. I'd say this is classic Fran, but I honestly never paid enough attention to you to know if that's true or not. Look, hun, if you want your insurance money, I need to see the whole store. The end. You've already seen the damage. Just to prove the claim. Let me simplify things for you. Let me in that back room. I'm not going to do it. Your claim right here and now. Just to prove the skag blasting claim. In that case, 
Congratulations. You're stuck with this dung heap for the foreseeable future. Francine Miskowitz, consider your claim wow. denied. Great talking with you, hun. <laughs> Boy, the tone is just so all over the place in this. It's wild. Uh-oh. They just dropped out warp. Cyclops doesn't like it. I know this isn't a Telltale game. And this would probably be considered ripping off Telltale too much. But I really miss the so-and-so will remember that kind of messages. I wish they'd been there in Life is Strange, too. Uh, I really appreciate when a, uh, a game just tells you that you've just made an impact on somebody. Maybe you need like a little carousel UI element that shows every character you've met the entire game and a quick summary on how you stand with the resurgence stuff. I'm not sure to what that lady's deal is in this story. Yeah, Fran, I guess, employs... Octavio, who is Anu's brother, but beyond that, the like the connection seems tenuous. I hope by the end of this episode, it will actually hook the three of them up in some sort of meaningful way. Oh crap! Oh no! It made that sound. Wong. Paco, how, did... how does he do that? <clears throat> Citizens of Meridian City, this area is now under TDO jurisdiction. We are implementing a curfew which begins five minutes ago. Leave the streets immediately, or we will open fire. Son of a bitch! Yeah! If anyone sticks around, I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast! Ah, uh, gun with legs. That's Shut some classic up, Borderlands. <laughs> what do we do? Stay calm. We uh, must approach this. Everybody hide. Everybody take cover! Hide! <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna go hide. Um, up there. Hey, Tom, thank you so much for the gift sub. That's very generous of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, especially here in the month of September, uh, where a gift sub is more special than ever. Thank you. <laughs> hide! Screw that! I like, the, I like Octavio's hide. I feel very good about that decision. Spitting on your pipe bomb's pretty good. Flat figures. Hostiles! Shoot to kill! Uh-oh. E. Oh, no. How do I do E into that direction at the same time? Sniper. I need a favor. Must be Wednesday. Got a TDR commander who's causing a real situation. What kind of situation solved with a bullet to the nasal cavity? Huh? What isn't? All right, so he's probably not an important character in the story. <laughs> You're welcome. That's your last favor for a while. Oh, but we. What if I really? I'm taking the train wheels off, Ock. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. Oh, wow. I don't wanna! <laughs> Our commander has fallen! I fight like I did this. I'll shoot them! Bring up! Born hurting! Diligence to kill! Let me not! That 
regrettably Malvi weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. All right, sweet. Bra, state of the art, annoying gun technology. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this weapon is it's like not Cactus useful. Jack. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only. You can't manhandle me without your manhandle. I like this, Octavio. Insurgents near the taco shop, posing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It's not stealing if he's already dead. That's true. It's truly a model of human decency. That's looting at that point. Which is perfectly acceptable in video games for characters of any alignment. Oh no! Oh, if you don't! Kaboom! No! Cast my positive no bullet wasted ricochet technology! <laughs> ricochet! Let's move! I like Louie just casually walking through. That's a win I stole of my grenades. Take cover, Papa Girardi. And I told you about that fake accent. It's a defense mechanism. Yeah, Paul, a little bit more action wouldn't hurt this game. Nice try, journalism hater! Hey! It's the fourth estate! You can grab my handle, but you'll never take my free! I mean, now we're in action mode. You're a real piece of work, gun guy. Don't you turn me around and look me in the face while you say that, you lowlife! And the name's Brock! Brock! Let's over here! He's over here! The insurgent's over here! Nothing personal. But I just think I like you better when you're a corpse. That seems extremely personal. <laughs> you're right enough for this! Well, I hope I they we didn't see you here. jump down there. I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within TDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. I wish I ate more tacos! Oh, so do I. <laughs> you wish I ate more tacos? <laughs> I will not de-escalate the situation by ending your life! Wait! Wait! At least tell me your name! I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me! Oh. It's Hubert Hot Dog. But my friends all call me- <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting Hubert Hot Dog. They got me back in. I'm back- I'm locked back in. That's pretty good. <laughs> You just got L0U13. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tango. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. 
We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. <laughs> real pal. We should go to friends to lie low. Oh. And risk bringing Tedio to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill, calm woman. Okay, so we're going to bring Fran into the narrative now. Weren't there four soldiers coming forward when they jumped down here? I mean, yes, technically. Maybe they split up. Louis. I do like Louis just not caring about the stealth element here. Oh, yeah. That lady with staples on her face found us in our car. Sorry, I wasn't expecting her name to be Staple Face. <laughs> I was just going to call her the lady with staples on her face. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. That's Staple Face. Like an angel. A tragedy. Staple face is fantastic. Really? I always knew the so-called psychos of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. Bandits. So pleased to meet you. I'm... Mistake is happening. Uh oh. Oh man, we Starsky and Hutched it. Okay, I love staple face. I'm here for staple face. Pretty girl, pretty kill. I'm not a killer. I'm just sending them on a little trip. Oh no! Wait, was he supposed to have a weapon in his hand? That's not how their story ends. 
You can pretend like it does, if it makes you feel better, you sissy. Was it just me, or did he, like, rain down on us like he was supposed to have an axe in his hand that wasn't there? I don't understand how that QQ is supposed to work. Where went down is here in this case. Maybe mouse down? Oh, it's S. So down here in this context means S, like in the W-A-S-D walks scheme, but having Q be one of the letters and then down kind of makes you wonder, does it mean the down cursor? Does it mean moving your mouse downward? That feels like it's more confusing than it should be. At that point, just make it QSQ. Fine, whatever. Oh, dang. I guess it was a weapon. Murder! Murder! She did a good one! <laughs> a glorious prelude of viscera and confetti! <laughs> wow, it was a good internal screen. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. My name is Anu. Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! <laughs> you can't kill and be a hero. I was going to show people that there's another way, but now, now I'm part of the problem. Just another killer with a broken moral code. Broken best friends. No! To staple face, you are hero girl. Who's staple face? <laughs> Right. <laughs> of course. Today was Staple Face's death day. Death day? Punishment for bad thoughts. Thought about becoming not psycho. Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day. Ah, oh, got it. I think. <laughs> No more death day. Reborn day. Happy reborn day to me. Happy reborn day to me. I um. I have this uh small rock. <laughs> I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. Happy reborn day. It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. <laughs> Thank you with my body. <laughs> okay. So nice. Oh. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that. <laughs> well, Staple Face is kind of great. This has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? 
to find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. <laughs> Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again Me someday. too. Yes! At an intersection! Stapleface is fun. I kind of want Stapleface to be like a, a Baldur's Gate 3 companion. My brain still only thinks of games through the lens of Baldur's Gate 3. It's I'm messed me up forever. By popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Got it good, absolutely. So, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L0U13. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. You brought an assassin bot into my shop? It's not like that. It is surprisingly similar to that. <laughs> Look, he's not here for you. And we should probably focus on the whole teeter invading the planet thing. For Flip's sake, another corp invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What? Kind of. Octavio, moment of your time. The killbot can wait up front. Fran. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? <laughs> Checking cupcakes. Checking Frogarts. Oh my god! What did you do? Refuse to give out free Frogart. I thought you were in recovery! Yeah. Me too. <laughs> well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louie. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's the damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Frogerts. Oh, no. Oh. Was it the one with the negative 3.5 yell rating? Yeeks. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. <laughs> we'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. Well... It's comforting to know you're finding brand new ways of screwing everything up. They were <laughs> shooting at civilians. Yeah, and pretty soon they're going to be shooting at us. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police man, Her nails you know are fantastic. When they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Clean this mess up, will ya? Of course, not a problem. I just... Thank you. I owe you one. Try 73. You've been keeping count? Don't make... <laughs> okay. 
This game is episodic, by the way. I think we're going to hit a cliffhanger at some point. On your knees! Get on your knees! No. The boy in the bot, where are they? Bot sighted! Hello. On your knees! Yes. Rebel apprehended! Well done, you're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Hmm. Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Respond! Say something! What boy? Yeah. That boy. That boy. I am. I fired him a week ago. Why? Incompetence. That sounds like a management problem. Maybe you didn't give him the tools he needed to succeed. <laughs> I just gone over a personal development plan with him. Burn the fire! Burn! <laughs> Tell you what. You better get a kill shot. Because bullet wounds make me real angry. Fire it! You are about to execute a TDO licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? <laughs> We're Froyo machines. They're TDO brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come That's on. fantastic. Uh, what are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the... Oh. Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell. Oh no. It's a matter of glass ceilings and souls. Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her, but she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns won't fire, and... Ah, uh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination. <laughs> if you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt stand down on their heads. Let the rebel kill them. I swear. I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanley. Brand's angry. Let him deal with you, idiots. What's your name? Ah, Coldwell. Chairwoman Coldwell, darling, get it right. Just committing it to memory. Because once I survive this, I'm going to devote every waking moment to tracking you down and putting a bullet in your head. Hmm. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Hmm. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Wow. Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. I mean, she's right. Fit, almost. No question. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Hmm? Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. We have this amazing new ice cream place here in town with absolutely the worst name I've ever heard for an ice cream place. So it's called Crafts of Coal Ice Cream. Like crafts, like something you make with your hands, of coal, like the fossil fuel ice cream. Now in no way is coal involved in the production of this ice cream in any way. Um, I guess it's handcrafted. It's like a locally handmade ice cream, but Crafts of Coal Ice Cream is such a bizarre name to me. Uh, but man, they have good ice cream. I just had a fantastic uh, cherry amaretto with chocolate flakes uh, just a couple of days ago. It was uh, really, really fabulous ice cream. But right beside the point. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. The electricity probably does come from coal so power here. This place down already. Yes, ma'am. Oh, eat, eat. Oh no. No, not really. But can you imagine though? <laughs> Probably should have been more on the ball there. Frozen yogurt. Hmm. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Yes. Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream beneath it. Almost. Well, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I know that's not true. Mm -hmm. Some things are just better than others. 
some people are just better than others. <laughs> <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. Oh, yeah. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't cruelty. This is just the natural order of things. Look, I'm here. I'll go willingly. Well, that's a lot of grenades. Louis! No time, get down! Octavio! I bet that's her cliffhanger. All right, there we go. Okay, this is interesting. Episode one, <laughs> under construction. Kablooey. Uh, not exactly a cliffhanger. Uh, Sis and Bro, we're at 66% relationship between Anu and Octavio, and at 50% between Octavio and Fran. We missed one Vault Lander. You successfully turned on your tech dog. Gosh, you forgot how words work. You said dummy on vacation. You hugged Fong. You killed one psycho. Murder. You did not forge the flaming sword of destiny. Dang it. You did not piss off Jameson. You called Diamond Danielle for help. You trash talked Brock. You shot a news box. Biased. <laughs> You're obsessed with tacos. You gave up your stealing ways. Broke sponsor bot. You attacked Hank first. You shattered Hank. Rest in pieces. You gave an adequate tour to Reba. You were not grand. Your insurance claim. <laughs> you let Reba go. All right. Well, those are all of our results. Do we have a preview of next time on Tales from the Borderlands? No, okay, we're just going to be ready to jump in to the, uh, to the next episode. All right, all right. I, uh, I mean, it's not great, but it, I warmed up to it as it went on. Um, I'm kind of curious to see where it goes next from here. So I think I'll play more of this one. New next time on New Tales from the Borderlands. That's right, Clell. Uh, I think I'll play more of this on Monday night, maybe. We'll uh, we'll uh, plan for that, because I'm curious to see what they do with this. Uh, I kind of like Anu quite a bit. I'm not quite sold on the other two characters so far, but uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Thank you all so much for watching, though. This was fun. I, uh, I hate that I had to cancel a couple of streams earlier in the week, but I'm feeling much better now and should be able to get back on to a little bit more of a regular schedule. For now, though, we should probably raid somewhere, and goodness gracious, we've got some good options tonight. I think we should raid over and see our old pal Cobra Commando, one of my favorite people to raid. Always a pleasure to drop in on her. She is streaming one of my absolute favorite games. Maybe my favorite game I've played this year. Uh, well, I don't know. I did play Baldur's Gate 3, <laughs> but she's playing Wind Waker, and I really enjoyed my playthrough of Wind Waker earlier this year, so let's drop in on Cobra and say hey to her. Uh, thank y'all again for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. This was, uh, this was a pleasure. It was good to be back in the groove. And uh, I will see all of you again very soon, hopefully on the other side of the raid. Take care, y'all.